Hello, everybody, welcome to my channel. Today, I will explain the story of the horror film called The Dark and the Wicked, which was released on Shudder in the year 2020. The film is set in a goat farmhouse in rural Texas where an old couple lived. Here we see the progression of the story from Monday to Sunday. In the beginning, an old lady of the house was stitching the clothes as per her routine when she heard some sound. She had tied empty bottles to her goat shed which was now making heavy noise. She went and checked that shed, everything was normal there. Later she observes her bedridden husband and writes something in her diary. Overall, it seemed this old lady was lonely and scared of something. Just then she hears the loud sound of someone grunting. At the goat shed we see goats making noises where we clearly see an evil entity. Meaning something was wrong in this house, it had a presence. After some time we saw that lady in the kitchen, the old lady was chopping onions when the chair behind her moved automatically implying that the evil entity is now in the house. It's Monday now, where the lady's daughter, Louise, and son Michael arrive at this farmhouse. The old lady gets angry seeing them, she says I told you not to come here. Here it may be possible that the old woman might have suspected something about the supernatural occurrences in their house. That's why she didn't want her children near the property, however, she tells them nothing about the same. This family was dysfunctional, these children had not seen their parents for years. The relations of Louise and Michael are also estranged as they both have not kept in contact for years. Here we see a nurse who was taking care of Louis's dad during the day. We also see the family's neighbor Charlie who was helping in every possible way. After dinner at night, there is a little fight between the old lady and her children. The children had left her, hence it seemed she no longer wanted to take their help. She behaves in a rude way to Louis and Michael. Both the children were not surprised by this behavior as it was their fault and they accept their mistake here. Michael says we should have come here sooner. At night, Louise was cleaning the dishes in the kitchen, just then the door opened on its own. Here we see a black shadow behind her, implying the presence of evil in the house itself. The old lady was not sleeping, she looked tense and seemed in a possessed state. When Michael asked her to go to sleep, that old lady said in a cryptic way, you guys should not have come here. This is not what you think. She asks him to leave this house, but Michael ignores it. He just leaves her to her condition and goes to sleep. While chopping the vegetables, she chopped her fingers too. Meaning that she was now in the possession of that evil entity. Next day the children find their mother's body hanging in the goat shed. The evil entity had forced her to commit suicide by exploiting her weakness. The children were naturally in shock. But even in this unfortunate incident, Louise and Michael were not talking properly. The distance in their relationship was clearly visible. Here we see Charlie sobbing in grief as that old woman was his true friend. He was more close to that lady than her own children. Later the nurse comes to the house and tells a strange thing to Louise and Michael. She says your mom would often whisper in your dad's ear as if she was talking to someone else. She believed an evil entity had possessed your dad. Later, Louise found a wedding dress in her mom's stitching studio, on which Louise was written. Seeing this, Lois got emotional. Later she confronts her brother and says we should have talked to her. At night, Louise was getting a shower where she saw her dad in a possessed state. His eyes were white, he shook his head violently. She screams in panic when Michael arrives and checks it, no one was there. His dad was lying in bed. When Mike is about to go and get groceries, he comes across his mother's diary. It had some sinister writings like, he is killing David. David cannot breathe, he needs David's soul. Devil. 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 There were a lot of talks about the devil in that book. It seems she was clearly in shock. Next day the children go to collect the mother's body where the autopsy doctor gives them a small cross. Which was found from her pocket. Michael was surprised to see this as his mother was an atheist, she did not go to church. At home, Louise promises her dad that she will never leave his side. Just then all of a sudden a spider comes out of her dad's mouth and starts walking on the body. Louise in panic tries to shoo it off, but after a few moments it suddenly disappears. At night when Michael was sleeping in his room, his room's light got on all by itself. He starts hearing his mom's humming sound. Upon checking it, he saw his mom's look like an entity levitating in mid-air outside the house. That figure had a creepy smile on it. Meaning the evil entity is now haunting Michael as well. The next morning when Louise woke up, she had lipstick markings on her face. In panic she checked her dad, he was alright, but besides him she found a lipstick tube. Louise was confused, 
Just then the landline of the house rings, in which Louise clearly hears her mother's voice. The voice says, I told you to leave the house. Leave now. Leave now. Louise was scared like hell. Later we see a priest meeting with Michael, the priest says sorry for his mother's death. He gives him a small cross. This cross looked exactly like the one recovered from the old lady's pocket. Now Michael was curious, he invited this priest to home and gave him his mom's diary. The priest says after reading that diary, I have come here many times, I have talked to your mother. Clearly, she was alone, I helped her in every possible way, but you cannot prevent the destiny which was supposed to happen. Michael gets angry at priest hearing this as he felt that priest must have put the devil thing in his mother's mind. Due to which her mental health might have deteriorated, and she might have had a schizophrenic episode. Michael behaves rudely with the priest as he was an atheist too, and never believed in such religious stuff. To which the priest says, if you don't believe in wolves, it doesn't mean that wolves don't live in the jungle. He leaves the house by giving his phone number. After some time, Louise goes to the goat shed and starts reading the diary. She was the skeptical one. Just then the bottles hanging there start shaking. We can also see a black shadow growing behind her, implying Louise might be its next victim. Michael talks to his wife and shares his feelings. He was spooked and scared. At 3 a.m. in the night somebody was banging at the main door. When Michael and Louise check it, he sees the priest who came in the morning. His eyes had turned white, he was calling both of them out. Clearly, it was the devil who had come in disguise as a priest. He asks them if they want a rope. He was referring to that old lady who committed suicide by hanging. Only then the landline of the house rings, where Louis panics and cuts the wire. Actually, this time the call was being made by his neighbor Charlie. The devil was haunting him at his house too. He was there in disguise as Louise. The lipstick was everywhere on her face. The devil possesses Charlie and makes him shoot at his head. Here the entity was tricking the victims, manipulating them, forcing them to take their own life. Next morning Louise and Michael check for any footprints of that priest, but they find nothing. Michael was scared here as well, so he went away to bring a doctor for checkup. Louise calls the phone number that the priest gave her. The phone rings in a Chicago hotel room where another priest picks it up. That priest was surprised as to how Lois got that number, he says he has never been to Texas. There was also a strange connection. The name of this priest's daughter was Louise, who committed suicide years ago. Michael brings a doctor who checks on his dad and says he's in critical condition. He doesn't recommend hospital shifting, the chances of him dying before reaching the hospital were significant. The nurse here was a religious type, she had her own theory. In places where there is no love and fear, the devil thrives, the soul who has the love of his or her loved ones is safe. She says as long as they love their dad, nothing will happen to them. In the evening a baby goat comes back to the shed with an injury. When Michael and Louise checked for rest, they were horrified. Someone brutally killed all their goats. Michael now burns all the goats. Returning home, he checks the goat shed where another doe was giving birth. Michael while crying in grief promises to protect her. He then sees the shadow of his mother. He thinks this is the devil and angrily says you are not real. The devil now forces him to commit suicide with a knife by possessing him. Michael fights with his possessions, does not commit suicide. Louise was sleeping next to her dad where she heard scary sounds. The devil now possesses his dad, picks him up and sticks him on the ceiling. Louise breaks down seeing this and starts crying. Then she woke up where her dad was right next to her. Meaning, it was all a dream where the devil was haunting her through dreams. Louise woke up and started looking for Michael where he was nowhere in the house. Then came the granddaughter of neighbor Charlie, she says Charlie had committed suicide. Louise was shocked hearing this. In reality, this granddaughter was also the devil who had come to her in this form. The girl terrorizes Louise everywhere in the house, the devil was haunting her. She faints from all this. Later the nurse comes and wakes her up. Louise calls Michael on his mobile where Michael says, The devil attacked me last night, hence I am running to my house. Dad has gone, I have a wife, I have girls, I have responsibilities, I can't be there in that mess. Michael now tells Louise to run away as well. Louise starts crying after hearing this as she was all alone now. The devil now possesses the nurse where the nurse attacks herself. Blood starts dripping from her eyes. The nurse attacks Louise and injures her as well, causing her to faint again. Michael goes to his house where his family had already died. It looked as if the devil might have killed them too. 
Michael loses his control due to this misery, and the devil finally possesses him. He now slits his throat with a knife, due to which he starts bleeding. When he was in his last moments, his family disappeared in front of him. Meaning, it was all a trick of the devil to get Michael's soul. In reality, Michael's wife and children were alive, they now come to his house. Upon seeing the dead Michael, they start crying. Louise saw the nurse's body when she woke up. Instead of running away from home, she goes to her father, she says, I will not leave you, I will stay with you till the end. Just then her dad dies after taking a long breath. Then Louise hears her mother singing in the house. As she turned around, the devil possessed her dead dad and attacked her as well. With this, the film ends. So this was the story of the dark and the wicked film. Clearly, here the evil entity, or the devil, whatever one may call it, was troubling the old couple, and it was enjoying them too. It wanted the old lady's husband's soul. The old lady was in deep love with her husband, hence she protected his soul. When her children came, her conflict grew. She lost her control, and the entity took her soul. Later it started hunting for children's souls. As they were estranged, it was an easy pick for it. The priest in the film says one thing if you don't believe in wolves, it doesn't mean that wolves don't live in the woods. Meaning this family was not religious, they used to consider all the popular belief systems superstition. Maybe that's why the entity did such a trick to make them learn a lesson. It killed the couple's children and took their soul as they were not even accepting its existence. The nurse may be collateral damage. Overall, this is a good horror movie. The moral of the film is not to abandon your parents. Love them till the end. If you like the video, then please like and subscribe. If you are new on the channel, and write your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Take care.